Hello, and welcome to Uniform Media. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up the best recording settings in OBS. Let's dive in. First, open the settings. And now let's choose video from the sidebar. Here, we're going to set the base resolution. This setting needs to match your monitor's resolution. For example, I have a 1080p monitor, so my base resolution is 1920 by 1080. If you have a 4K or 1440p monitor, you'll put those resolutions here instead. Next, we'll set the output resolution. Ideally, this should be the same as your base resolution to make it easier for OBS to process. Now, let's move down to common FPS values. You'll set this to either 30 or 60 FPS. 60 FPS gives smoother videos and is great for high motion recordings like gaming but is also heavier on your system. 30 FPS is the standard for most recordings and is lighter on your system. It's best suited for tutorials and similar content. Now, switch to output settings, then change the output mode from simple to advanced. After that, select the recording tab and choose the recording path. This is where your recordings will be saved. Make sure to select a drive with ample storage because OBS recordings can be quite large. For the recording format, it will default to MP4, but you should change this to MKV. This is important because if OBS crashes during recording, you'll be able to recover the file, which isn't possible with MP4. Don't worry, you can always convert MKV videos to MP4, and I'll show you how at the end of the video. For the video encoder, we'll choose X264. This option is popular and pretty flexible since it only uses your CPU for video encoding. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can choose NVENC AV1 or NVENC EVC since they provide even better performance than X264. For rate control, we'll choose CBR. This ensures the video is encoded at a constant bit rate throughout the recording. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can also use CQP. This setting provides the highest quality but results in larger files, and it's mainly used for 4K recordings. Set the CQ level between 20 to 26 if you go this route. For bitrate, I recommend 300 to 500 kilobits per second for tutorial recordings, 500 to 800 for gaming in 1080p, and 12,000 to 24,000 for 4K. Keep in mind that a higher bitrate will increase the file size. Set the keyframe interval to 2, meaning a keyframe will be rendered every 2 seconds. The CPU usage preset determines how much processing power OBS will use. The slower the preset, the better the quality, but it will put more strain on your CPU. Medium is a good middle ground between CPU usage and quality. Finally, set the profile to high. Now let's configure the audio settings. Set the audio bitrate to 128 kilobits per second if you're recording tutorials. For gaming, you can bump it up to 160 kilobits per second to handle more complex sound effects. In the sidebar, select audio and make sure the sample rate is set to 48 kilohertz and the channel is set to stereo. Lastly, let me show you how to convert your MKV files to MP4. In OBS, go to File, then Remux Recordings. Here, you'll select your files and click Remux. This will convert your MKV files to MP4. You can also set up OBS to automatically convert MKV files to MP4 after recording. To do this, open Settings, go to Advanced, and check the box that says Automatically Remux to MP4. That's it. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.